Barely a cloud in the sky. No wind. Excellent conditions for a fine night of athletics in Bidgosh. Loads to begin with, the women's long jump T63 that involves the perennial 100 meters champion Martina Caroni, the men's discus throw F56 in the seated category, men's shot put F37, the three field events to begin with. We had a very competitive men's high jump earlier today, and we have another one coming up at 6.45 Central European time, and loads of track action to round off, particularly with the fastest wheelchair categories. So it's good evening from Will Downing, good evening to Tolson Tollard, and Martina Caroni is the focus of attention in this women's long jump T63. Absolutely, good evening to everyone, good evening to yourself, Will. Martina Caroni, it's hard to see anyone toppling her from a gold medal position in this one. The world record holder, European record holder, championship record holder. And there was a chance of people in 2019. She missed that 2019 World Championships, of course, because she was banned due to a cream she used to treat an ulcer on the stump on her leg. She didn't apply for a therapeutic use exemption and uh, she was banned for a period of time. So she missed out on that one. But she was silver back in 2015 at the Worlds. She was gold in 2017 in London in what was a terrific occasion when she won the gold medal then. In the European Championships, she's won gold in 2018, which she did the double winning the 100 metres as well. And silver in 2014 and 2016. She's also got a bit of form of the Paralympic Games as well, silver in the long jump for that. And a goal in both the 100 metres in 2016 in Rio. There she is on left of screen. There are five scheduled it's to go this one. Almost the exact same starting lineup as the women's 100 metres final, just switching Alexandra Nouchet of France in place of Anne Delina. So here's our stunning five for the final of the women's long jump, T63. Bronze for Switzerland in the 100 metres final, her first major championship medal, Sofia Gonzalez. Next up for Spain, fourth in the 100 metres final the other night, sixth in the long jump of the last Euros, Desiree Villa Bargella for France. Four metres of lifetime first set this year, Alexandra Nouchet. Next up, the silver medalist in the 100 metres final the other night, Elena Carter from Switzerland. And here is the 100 metres champion from this week. Silver in Rio in the Paralympic Games in this long jump. She is the defending champion here as well. It is Martina Caroni of Italy. When she did miss the World Championship, she was only out for three months. All the various important bodies certainly believed it, which is uh, the key thing. And now gunning for another major title, having uh, claimed that 100 metres in the opening evening. And it is Sofia Gonzalez who will get us underway.
It's a very restrictive run-up due to the uh, single leg amputee category, which means the world record in this five meters from Caroni set in Grisetto in the Grand Prix there in the summer of 2019. The championship record held by Caroni from the last Euros in Berlin in 2018. Philip Bagella with the four spot just missed out on the medals in the 100 meter final on Tuesday night. And we're going to miss out seeing her live because we're heading for the throwing cage. Next event about to get underway, and it's the men's discus F56. A lot of Polish interest in this. In record holder in this one. Two poles. He'll be first to go. Lucas Drabiuk. Mixture of the F 55s and F 56 in this class. The F 56 European record holder. Constantinatis as soon as of Greece also competing there is a man who holds all the records the Bosa Juric Constantinos soon as the European record holder in the F56 category the second of the poles to take part Matthews did that only 20 years of age in his first major championships. Lifetime best of 29.45 set this year. Slobodan Milicic. Two Serbians going. 38.24 his lifetime best. Then Russia back in competition. Semi Shakov. Season best of 32.28 just below his lifetime best. Dusan Lechko of Slovakia. 39 metres solid, his best set this year. Just takes a little while to get set up this event. We saw yesterday, we've seen it a few times actually, where competitors have been fouled for incorrect throwing. So Martina Caroni ready to go. Her first attempt in the women's long jump where she is the defending European champion. She has adapted a very good style in this. Good and smooth. Taking off with the prosthetic of Marcus Rehm. Is she in the form for something decent lengthwise again tonight we'll see Karani starts with 493 it's a new championship record straight away and she leads by almost a meter so back to Sofia Gonzalez in fourth spot for Switzerland 340 in that opening round as she bids to try and get up into the medals but what a start for Caroni well she means business there's not much doubt about that
didn't use the board at all. That's about 25 centimetres given away. Three metres 13 and she stays in fourth place. Now for the formal presentations for the next shot put, this is the F37 final. Only 21 years of age, Zabdiak. 2006, he was the bronze medalist of the World Championship and also 2013. Jakob Bielislav, next to him, Bart Kukla of the Czech Republic, the second of those to go out of the three. We'll hear from the third in just a moment or two's time. Albert Kinchikov, his lifetime best of 15.25. He was the gold medalist in 2019 in Dubai. Lukas Shinetsky, second of three poles going. Michael Palak of the Czech Republic makes up the triumvirate of them. And Zinatis Tundas of Lithuania, European Championship, bronze in 2016 and 2018. And Thomas Skibiak of Poland, fourth in 2017 and 2019 at the World Championships, fourth also in the 2016 and 2018 European Championships. So three Polish athletes going in this one. Three from the Czech Republic. Promises to be a reasonably close final. Michael Vimmer of the Czech Republic will be up first. So Vimmer, who was seventh when he threw in the javelin back in 2018, this time he switched to the shot put. Ten oh nine, his lifetime best. Ten oh six, his season best to date. Smile on his face, good to see. As we head back so to the long jump and Caroni. We are gliding through this competition, so is she. 493, she kicked off with. And she's looking really firm and fine and in the mood to defend her title successfully. Well, if she can uh, start off with something like a 493, that's only seven centimeters off her own world record that was set two years back. Who knows what kind of form she's in. She's up for it, there's no doubt about that. A new world record, five meters, zero five for Martina Caroni. She's set for Tokyo, there's no doubt about that. And the title is heading away again. No doubt about it. She's never won the Paralympic gold medal. But if she's keeping this form up, I mean in the long jump, then it's going to be hers. She's the uh, 100 meters Paralympic champion. 
twice world long jump champion three times in the 100 meters the legend grows from martina caroni and it's a negligible breeze tonight and in fact elena crater who had had the previous attempt was into a stiff headwind minus 2.8 went out to four meters 20 that has her in the silver medal position gonzalez 340 needs to improve by about 75 centimeters and 366 is her lifetime best anyway so to get near the medal she has to add half a meter onto her pb how much will she add four centimeters at least she does add she is in fifth spot she was an avid watcher of the 2012 Paralympics on TV didn't get involved in para sport until she went to a Heinrich Popov camp in 2016 Villa Bargella in the bronze medal position for Spain 413 in the previous round round two that a lifetime best 394 it was going into this she's beaten that twice already that's what you want best previous long jump result was when she finished sixth in the last euros she was eighth of the world championships in dubai she has brought an autobiography out already the only incurable thing is the will to live she's been a tourism student in london through erasmus 408 stays in the bronze medal position seven centimeters away from the top two new day 364 her best so far and 348 in the previous round It's looking like a major uh, increase of her lifetime best of four meters dead in order to get up in towards the medals. And she does improve. 371 stays in fourth place, another 40 meters away from the top three. first major championship for her so Krater of Switzerland the ace skier I think that's plowed right into the plasticine brilliant championship debut in para athletics by winning silver in the hundred meters and currently in the silver medal position here uh, the plasticine was was well rocked Definitely got well embedded. She almost took it away with that. 429, a lifetime best. She's near that. Right now, nobody is near Martina Caroni. 493 for a championship record. 505 for a new world record. <laughs> Well, that went right into the plasticine. It's quite a prosthetic, a spectacular one. It's been designed by students of the European Institute of Design in Milan. I don't know who designed the headband, though, but still, it adds to the colour. Ah! Speaking of which... Back to the shop put. But we're going to go via the discus. F56 category. Just underway. And that gives you an idea of 
just how long it can take to get these athletes prepared, ready to go. Underway about 12 minutes after it was due to start. So Draviak with his first, 27.38 metres for him. Yet to get a mark this season. So he'll be most pleased to get out there and actually competitively throwing. So the athletes will get three attempts. Hopefully there'll be no fouls for them. And then they'll get to readjust themselves, grab a drink, and then crack on with three more. Trebiak certainly taking his time between throws. Out towards the Edge of the football box there. Looks like they've perhaps given it a coat of green as well to make sure it doesn't stick out so much. The discus isn't going to impact as much as the shot put because that has really pounded the surface over the past two or so days. So an improvement with his second, 27.46, eight centimetres, but still an improvement, heading in the right direction. Well, you'll see some who decide to throw really quickly and some who decide to take their time. So Drabiak looks like he's ready for a cup of tea in between throws. That's his third. That one. Not as far as his first two. First major championships for Lucas Drabiak. Poland have had quite a few who've competed in their first major championships here. Wonderful evening. Nice sunny sky. Can't ask much more if you throw the discus. No breeze. All we're missing is a crowd. I could have said all we were missing was a nice beer, but that would probably make the commentary too interesting. <laughs> 2477, so doesn't improve. Wonderful shot of this magnificent stadium.
I wouldn't mind us coming back to Poland quite soon when things calm down to see what kind of a crowd we can can get here for Parrot Athletics because in on the IAAF circuit when they've had their you know the continental tour events as they're now called they get massive crowds is Shabniak for Ukraine in the job put Shapniak certainly up there is one of the favourites. Silver in 2018. Silver medalist at the Paralympic Games in Beijing back in 2008 in the discus. So Shapniak's first. As we head back to Drabiuk, the Made his discus throw, 56 for his final three. I can tell you the Zabniak with his opener at least. Set a new lifetime best of 14.95. Twenty-eight thirty-two. So, an improvement for Drabiuk with his fourth attempt. He'll have everyone chasing him, being the first up. That's pretty good. It may well be better than the 2832. He's given it the nod of approval. Albert Kinshikov of Russia also in the field of this. Current world champion. Bronze medalist from the past two European Championships is also in the field and understood this of Lithuania. Well, 27-12, it wasn't as far. Looks at deceiving. Judging by the speed we're going at, we're probably lucky that this is one of the first events of the evening. That one there may be his worst of all. So Zrabiak is finished. By the sheer fact he's in first position when it comes to throwing, he does have the lead. So now he has to sit back and watch the Sharks gather. Twenty-four ninety-five for his final throw. So that's his job done for the day. Here's Jabniak, fourteen ninety-five with his first, which was a new lifetime best. And that one looks long as well. That world record mark you see further out. Plenty of height on it. Plenty of power. Is there plenty of distance? Yes, there is. 15.64. He smashed his own lifetime best again. Men shot for them. 37. Chenechki. 9.73 in the opening round. Another member of this tremendously young Polish team. Thank you, 
Goes up into six spot with uh, 1091. Poles fourth, fifth, and sixth. Checks seventh, eighth, and ninth. And here's Palak. break through the 10 meter barrier can he become the top check yes up into six spot 1134 that's a lot more like it Lumsjes for Lithuania, 13.45 in the oh! opening round. He's a 13.80 man, that's his lifetime best. He was finding it very hard to stay in the circle and to keep that in the sector. Did he manage both? Yes to the circle, but I'm pretty sure that's gone out. Maybe, yeah, it just crept in. 13.22, he does not improve. Skubak for Poland. The leading pole right now in four, 13.03. In the opening round, he's just one centimeter off his lifetime best. Sorry, his season's best, his lifetime best is, I think, towards 14 meters. Meters 28, a new season's best, and he stays in fourth. So now, track action the men's 400 meters, T11. Christina Novas of Spain will be going from seventh, one of the fastest qualifiers, the 20 year old, his first major championships. Timothy Adolf, four disqualifications in major championships. He's had guide issues galore. He's the reigning world champion. Here's the man who's the reigning European and championship record holder, Gerard Descarrega Pustevel. Won gold at the World Championships in 2017. Defending champion as well, Sylvain Bova will go from the inside lane from Club Athletic in New Caledonia. He took silver at the last championships in 2018. So Bova on the inside, one of the fastest qualifiers, along with the 20-year-old at his first major championships in Spain, Lucida Novas, who's out in lane seven. This is the complete visual impairment category. So it may take a, a little bit longer. Uh. And they're away with no problem at all. And it is Timothy Adolf who's got away very quickly indeed. Out there in lane five with Jeffrey Lamy, his guide. He's already come up on the outside of Christina Novas and they're rocketing down that back straight. Descarrega Pustevol, the defending champion, is 
working his way up on the inside, but Timothy Adolf is looking very strong indeed, the 2017 world champion. And it's going to be a racing two between Adolf in lane five and Desiree Gabrutrival, who's in lane three. And as they round up into the final straight with about 90 metres to go, and it's Adolf who's in the lead, and he's looking very strong at the moment. Both him and his guy, Desiree Gabrutrival, has slightened off somewhat. And it's going to be Timothy Adolf who goes across and takes it in a time of 50.83 seconds. Just Greg Apustavol picks up the silver. And it is Athena Novas who comes through in third with Silva and Bova in fourth position. A lifetime best for Timothy Adolf, 50.76 seconds. He looks strong the whole way through. Oh, la puta, coño. So Adolf has added to his goal from 2014 when he won in Swansea. He's European champion again. He's the world champion as well. Jessica Rego Puzidvol, who was the champion for 2018, he won the long jump that year as well. Just couldn't managed to catch Adolf when it came into the home stretch. He was looking very strong there as they rounded the bend. And you thought he may just nip up there and it may be a very close finish, but he just fell away towards the end there. You can see him struggling just behind his guide slightly. No problems with Adolf though. We know he's had issues with guides in the past. But here it looks clean cut indeed. So Adolf and Jeffrey Levy celebrate. With a lifetime best to go with it. Fifty point seven six. Taking point one five a second off his lifetime best that he held coming into it. There's confirmation to Dolph with the goal. Descarajo Puzdeval is dethroned. He has to settle for silver. Well, the main shot put at 37. Continues at pace. The Shabniak leads, who we saw with that 15.64 with his lifetime best in the second of his throws. He since increased it up to 15.65 with his third. So Dundas in third place with his third throw, 13.45 is best. Bronze medalist in the past two European Championships.
Scoot back in fourth place, the pole. He's got a habit of finishing in fourth as well. Last two European Championships and the last two World Championships. Could be hoping he can bust that duck today. As it is, though, he sits fourth now. Well, here's a woman who's been winning titles since the 1980s and the first Paralympics. Martina Filling, here's Ivana Petrovic of Serbia. And for the Czech Republic, Miroslav Obrova. <laughs> Women's javelin F56, this is the seated throwing competition. Athena Billing still winning major titles even now. Silver of the shot put, Seoul 88, the first modern Paralympics as we now know it. Three times a Paralympic champion, most recently a Paralympic medalist in Rio in 2016. Three silvers in Berlin in the discus, the javelin, and the shot. She's already been in Tokyo. She did a reconnaissance trip in 2019. She said it was one of the hottest places she's ever been. She's 61 now. Been competing in para athletics since 1981. Right on the edge of the penalty area as well. Practice throws at the moment, trying to find the right device. Women's 400 meters T20. This the intellectual category. Six going in this, including Goodman's daughter for Iceland, who enjoyed their first ever double medaling in a single event earlier this morning. Bernadette Biakshi, who former world champion over 800 meters that's her at the outside and lay a fifth in the 1500 meters final in honor goes in heat two in lane seven for iceland ninth in the long jump of the last european stefania goodman's daughter in lane six for russia seventh in the 400 meters at the world championships in doha galina randalina 
in lane five for Poland, seven in the 400 meters final at the Worlds in Dubai two years ago, Justina Franice in lane four for Poland. Former European silver medalist from 2016 in the 400 in Grisotto, Davina Stenke, Szymanska, and in lane three for Portugal, the reigning European 400 meters champion, Karina Pai. She's the championship record holder. When she won in 57.29 in Berlin two years ago. Top three to qualify for the final, plus the next two. Pime in three, Stenska, Zymanski in four, Franicek five, Randolini six, Goodman's daughter seven, and Bernadette Biaschi in lane eight. Women's 400 meters T20. Underway immediately, Randolina started very strongly for Russia and outside her, Gutman's dot here. But it be actually, we always expect a lot from, but it's the longer distances in which she fares well. Silver in the 800, a bronze in the silver in the 1500 previously, and that gold in the 800 at London 2017. And she's being overtaken quite a bit now by Randolina. Ranicek just on her inside in lane five and as they straighten up those two will be joined by Karina Pime, the defending champion. Top three going through. Top three are well clear at the moment. Stenka Szymanska is fighting back a little bit out of lane four as the defending champion. Karina Pime who is well clear. She's going to take the win. It's going to be quite fast as well. She'll come close to a championship record without breaking it. 59.74 and she's joined in the final automatically by two poles. Franicek and Stenka Jemanska with Randolina down in fourth and she will have to wait. That was a good win by Karina Pipe. Runs in the last worlds in Dubai. It's a lifetime best for Franicek in second spot. Stanka Szymanska overtook Randolina very well in the last 15 minutes or so. Karina Pine makes it and closing straight. She didn't really have anyone closing in on her. Okay. Bernadette Biaschi, who has never won a para athletics medal in a distance as short as 400 meters finding herself run out of it she might make it as the fastest loser Randolina was well primed by that stage but Pime coming off the bend going clear and well clear Franicek with a lifetime best coming through in second and Randolina just lost away a little bit towards the end. Stenka Szymanska overtaking, making her way through to the final. So two poles are currently there. There might be a third coming. There's the lifetime best for Franicek and due to mathematics, Randolina is already there. Back to the javelin and Martina Vili. We're filling into fourth row. We're over there 20 meters. Certainly be good enough. Only three in this competition. Felix started in para athletics 14 years before. Not a bit of was even born. Certainly got some longevity. Three times the world champion. Top foot world champion. Twice. European champion, Kevlin. 
this be number three? White flag given, with that one. That is a method. Nineteen twenty two, so no improvement. Will Smith's first this one, twenty meters solid. There's uh, two competitors wait in the background, over on the left, Petrovic on the right. Didn't sound as if she was happy with the release on that one. <laughs> Just landed inside. That tells you the story, doesn't it? 1766. So here comes her final throw. Right here, 56 for Martina Billy. <laughs> Certainly further than the last one. The Billy's competition is finished. He awaits the Mark of that last throw. Skilling that, isn't it? So, Martina Caroni. Back in the long jump, the world record, 5.05 in the second round. That looks pretty good too. Has she gone and done it again? She's well on the way to gold, there's no doubt about that. Into the second half of the competition now, and she's looking even better. That was a perfect takeoff. Her two previous attempts which have counted have been records, championship record first, then a world record, which was her own anyway. 5.05 it was, 5.06 it is, another world record, and Martina Caroni gets the gold. Her sixth European title, her second ever European double. Kratzer gets her second silver of the week in her Para Athletics Championship debut, and Azere Bella gets the bronze. Well, time for the second of the women's 400 meters T28. And Barbara Diagnoska is at you. This out on the 1500 meter goal by the fairest Marge yesterday. No, this one. Or Bernadette Biaxi in the last heat. The sister, Fiona, who goes in this, wants that 1500 meters yesterday for her. She's the best in that one, so she'll be looking to keep up the form here. Bronze in 2014, her best in this event. So Geza, semi finalist in 2018, goes the 18 year old from lane five. Gretzi, self medalist in 2014, Hungarian, seventh yesterday in the 1500 meters, goes four. And Julia Julia, who was a finalist in 2018, took silver in 2019, will go lane three. So Barbara Ignoska Zaitjat does not start. After missing out yesterday in the 1500 meters.
Fuller in three. Ritzy in four. Giza in five. Yaxi in seven. First three go through there. It will be the next two fastest to advance through to the final. So three out of this four will go through with Ignoska Zajac not in the running. Yaxi who goes out to the front looking very strong. Being caught on the inside by Christian Giza who was a semi-finalist back in 2018. Straight away and also looking very good there is Yulia Shulia of Ukraine. Silver at the World Championships in Dubai in 2019. She's looking very solid at the moment. She'll take the lead as they round the final bend and come down with about 120 metres to go. She's looking very strong indeed, as is Giza of Turkey. And that will be a straight out battle for that third place to qualify through to the final. At this stage, it's looking like it's going to be Julia of Ukraine is going to take it. Giza. Turkey is going to take second, and the Axi is coming through. Looking like she's going to take third. Giza's tidying up on what Julia takes the win, and Giza gets across him. The Axi comes over the last 50 metres and takes the automatic qualification for this through to the final. 59 89 the time. 22 85 a season best for the Turk and Giza. And the Axi goes through as well in third place. So surely I knew what she was doing as she ran down the back straight. She just waited for that last 150 metres or so to just stretch out. Didn't put too much into it. Saving herself for that final. Very strong indeed. As she qualifies. You just see Giza there tightening up as she comes towards the line. And she just about got there second place in Piazzi through beating her fellow Hungarian Gretzi taking third automatic qualification position. So four winning that one. There were five to be scheduled to go. Big news that the lady took silver in the 1500 metres yesterday. Didn't run. Down the bottom there, Ignoska Zajac. Julia goes through, as does Giza and Piaxi. It's Giza best in qualifying for Retzi. So this is how it looks as it goes through. Time with the quickest time. Julia goes through at the top of the pile as well. We head back to the men's shop with F37, and it's Palak. This final throw is seventh position. 11.34 is best of date. Kapniak leads this one at the top. Here, Kragian. That is a foul, so no change for him. The defense is looking for the bottom three. Fourth hit the next. Holes with either lifetime best or season best. This man with a season best. First lap. Fifth position. Well, 78 is best. Thirteen thirty-three is lifetime best. Eleven forty-two, so he won't be up amongst the medals. Kubiak. He's increased his life by best this 14.23 with his last rope. By a mile as well. 13.65 was coming into this. The Snoobiak needs to find around 40 centimetres. 42 to be precise. And more than likely that won't be enough. Poland in fourth, fifth, and sixth position at the moment. Thirteen ninety-one. So no medal for Skubiak. He finishes in fourth position again. That's the fifth time in a major championship he's finished in fourth position. Three European championships in a row. He's done it. This man has a medal. 
fellow will it be? Send us a bit of radio. 1565 is the mark he needs to get up to. That's a bit of an ask. <laughs> Fourteen seventy eight with his final stroke. <laughs> Hitchcock needs twenty two centimeters if he's to get up into second. He certainly put it out there with a load of noise. If there were medals for noise, he'd get one. He likes it as well. The deaths on 1485. Well, he's done it. 15 That is huge. Kitchikov with his final throw. He left it all out there. Hit the Russian. He's Kim Gundus and forced it back to the bronze medal position. But this is your winner. Kapniak of the Ukraine. 41 years of age. Been competing since 1991 at the age of 12. Gold is coming his way. Silver in 2018. He won the discus throw in 2018. He was third in 2014. He's now picked up a long awaited gold medal in the European Championship. Oh, 16.02 yeah. for Zabniak. A new lifetime best for him. What a way to finish. Both himself and Kinchikov who picked up the silver. Records all round for themselves. His season best and lifetime best. European champion. Finally, is Nikola Shabniak of the Ukraine. 1602. So Shabniak finally gets that gold medal he's been looking for up, picking up a Bronze and a silver, 2014 and 18 respectively. He takes the gold, Kinshikov silver, and Dundas, the lifetime best, and picks up the bronze medal. So the final of the men's 400 metres, T13, the category of least visual impairment of the three. And the man holding the European and championship records is in this. Igor Sharov, one of three from Russia in the final. The reigning European champion is in this too. And here he is, Jakub Nitzpom of Poland. Gold in the 400, bronze in the 100 in Berlin three years ago. In seven for France, first major championship from Al Calior et Qua for Paul Bobba, the former European and world champion. For Russia, three goals in Grisetto in 2016 for Igor Sharov. In five for Turkey. Two European bronzes over 400 metres and a silver in the 100 in this career for Hakan Tira. In lane four for Azerbaijan. Bronze in the Euros in 2014 in Swansea. Elmir Jabrailov. In three for Russia. Bronze in the 400 metres in the last World Championships in Dubai. Alexander Shkirin. In lane two for Lithuania, major championship debut for Petras Krapikas. And in lane one, 
for Russia. The 2012 Paralympic champion over 400 meters, Alexei Labsin. So Labsin in one, Krapikas two, Shirin three, Jabrailov four, Sierra five, Sharov six, Barbant seven, and Nispon in lane eight. The final of the men's 400 meters, T13. So way first time, very good start by Jabrailov and Hakan Sira in the middle lanes and Labson in the inside lane one has already overtaken Garikas on his outside and he's looking really strong for and Sheeran as well for Russia. They will have thoughts of a clean sweep. They are all doing well at the moment. Sharov, Shirin and Labson. Paul Barban of France is losing a little bit of ground. Nitzpon on the outside is holding his own as well. In third spot, they've straightened up after the stagger coming into the closing straight. It's really tight. Jabrailov's looking great in lane four. Sheeran on his inside in three. Here comes Hakan Sira. But Jabrailov, he's been a bronze medalist previously out in front. Sira trying to catch him by the line, but Jabrailov takes it. They're in second place. Sheeran and Sheriff in a battle for third. 49.90. And Elmer Jabrailov of Azerbaijan is the European champion. A tremendous win. Hakan Sira almost caught him, but he didn't have to kiss his title goodbye. Has been ratified as 49.88 now. It was between Shivan and Sharov, the two Russian teammates for the title. Nispon on the outside, flying and visually in front at this stage but then the big battle emerged in lanes four and five events on seeding if it always went to seeding if it was like swimming it always would be lanes four and five out in front but Jabrailov just had enough left just enough of a lead I can see her in second maybe sure and just getting up ahead of Sheriff for the bronze medal but it is Azerbaijan with the goal. Shirin did get the bronze at the end. Just ahead of Nispon was back in fifth. It's a big battle. There's a great camaraderie between Azerbaijan and Turkey anyway. And there will be between these two. Bit of flag swapping going on. Jabrang off the goal for Azerbaijan. Akin Shira, the silver for Turkey, and Alexander Shirin, the bronze for Russia. As we head back to the men's discus throw F56, it's Sunas in first position, 41 20 with his fourth. Maybe slightly longer, or around the same mark at least. No! No! He liked it anyway. No! Well, I think you can tell his reaction. No! It's a new European record, 42-71 for Konstantinos Tsunas of Greece. Breaking his own mark set earlier this year.
Let's just spin it up to the mark now. Two poles going in this here in Drabziuk. Ready to go with his first. Yeah, that's lifetime best set this year, 29.45. Just 20 years of age, first major championship for Matthew Spina. Up into third position already, ahead of Jabiuk. Guric with a season best second and Tunis breaking his own European record. That final throw in first position. Combination of F55s and F56s in this seated category. There is Nabosa Juric who holds the F55 World European and Championship records. Goes in this competition shortly. He didn't have a good competition, Jura. Soon as ahead of him. As everyone watches on. Great noise from Sunas though when he broke his own European record with the final throw. So many times you see these athletes as they come to the end with six. They struggle to reach that distance they were getting before and well Sunas put everything into it. 42-71. Almost a, a four metre ahead of his mark that he set earlier this year. That was 41.79 in Tunisia. So Ben has had his first three throws. Time for a rest. Metaphorical, put your feet up. And then he'll go again. We head back to the women's chaplain's boat, F-56. Yeah, it's a bravo of the Czech Republic. Martina Billing going out to 20 metres dead. Petrovic has had her throws and has gone out to 14.54. Her last one's gone out to 15 metres, in fact. So she's in the silver medal position. So that's what a bravo is targeting for a silver, at least, and obviously beyond 20 for a goal. Shot put bronze medalist the Brova was. In the Euros in 2016, the Grisetti was her only major championship medal. She was fifth in the javelin in Berlin. She's taken up the javelin in recent championships. It's given her her best world championships result, which was 10th in Dubai a couple of years back. 13.24 is not an improvement. She's a 16.25 thrower, so something like that would put her in good stead. The 
SSK Vidkovica Club in Ostrava, which is a great athletics location. And she has competed in the Golden Spike. If only she could get a gold with this spike. Not an improvement, 13.62. Well, could Martina Filling be on the way to a gold medal at the age of 61? Born on the 3rd of October, 1959. If she can get a lifetime best, and that should have made enough of an indentation to be legal. Then maybe she can get up into the silver medal position, but 1551 is as far as she's showing this year, 1625 the lifetime best. She needs to add four, almost five meters onto it. But look at that, 1509, she goes into the silver medal position. Petrovic is not to third. And likely that those will be the finishing positions. A brother showing, well, good form in the second half of these throws, and it's when they're all coming at once, you put so much strength into the first one that it just steps down and the the levels lower a bit after that, but it's not happening with her. And that is to her credit. 14.59 into the second half of the competition and she's now producing her best rows. That is great to see and it is so unusual to see. Filling's best row is her first. Petrovic's was her third. A brother, maybe it'll be her last. Well, she didn't spend much time on that. It's been a very quick, short competition. This is the one where uh, Diana Danzita has been so successful down through the years. She's a. Uh, an F55, 14.74, Abrava takes the silver, Petrovic the bronze, but Martina Filling, at the age of 61, is European champion. 33 years since the Paralympic Games debut, in which she medaled. Remarkable. <laughs> So a multi-category men's high jump in this. Hey, we've got some great names. And the two closest to your picture, certainly on the right of your picture, are the ones who've had the most success lately. So first of all, for Serbia, fourth in the European Championships three years ago, Nemanja Tadic. First major championship for Dmitry Batasevic of Belarus. A former European champion from 2014, Vukas Mamtats. Bronze medalist last time out for Turkey is Tarek Burakoglu. At last, a major champion in the world in Dubai, the reigning world champion, Jonathan Broom Edwards. 
And for Poland, the twice European, four times world, and twice Paralympic champion, Mathieu Lepiato. He's uh, been a regular long jumper as well, but it's been in the high jump in which Lepiato has had his greatest successes. That's the reigning Paralympic and European champion, Le Piatto, up against the regular European uh, world champion, Broom Edwards. But it's time to head back to the track. We'll rejoin the high jump in a few minutes' time. And it's the 100 meters T38 final. And two of those records you saw there a moment or two ago Thomas Young, the European record in Dubai at those World Championships races, as does Mikita Senek of the Ukraine, who's the championship record holder from back in 2012. Three British athletes going in this one. Two Russians. This should be an exciting race indeed. Thomas Yang, who I mentioned there, he really blasted onto the scene back in Berlin in 2018. Okay, gold in both the 100 and the 200 meters in Berlin and he did it with a bit of style as well. Made up to the crowd. Knew where the cameras were. Having a great time doing it. One World Championship silver after that in 2019. That European record time he supports Fulham. A 20 year old but you can't fold him for that. We all have our vices. The Ross Patterson will go from lane two, seventh in the 400 meters already. Coached by John Kinder, first time running in the 100 meters. Shinov, who's already won the gold, the long jump, and the championship record. He was the fifth in this event of the world back in 2019. Next will be Francis Dmitry Kostisky, 24 year old occupational therapist. He was sixth in the world back in 2019. Thomas Young, who we've already mentioned, there he is. He enjoys himself. He's the best of 11 to 64 that he'll be hoping to improve on today. Horacini took bronze in the long jump, bronze in the 2016 European Championships in this event with those in lane six. Alexander Thompson was fourth in the 400 metres already from Hamilton. Scotland is first major championships. And a Sahin who's been competing for six years, a lifetime first of 12 38 for the Turkish athlete. And the man who took silver in the long jump. In 2008, back in Beijing in both the 100 and the 200 meters and the long jump. 2014 European champion. It was silver by Young in the last one. Peter Senek goes in line nine. So Senek, the championship record holder in lane nine. Thomas Young, the European champion, European record holder, goes in lane five on the right of screen.
Set. Please stand back. It's stand just a wobble up. there from back. Sahin, who's the only one of the athletes who begins in that starting position. This is the coordination impairment category. At least of the coordination impairments, but if you are at a standing start, it can be a little bit more difficult, especially in, in the coordination category, to see just lose his balance and so common sense will prevail. With Sahin being given the green card, he's ready to go again. Nerves will be jangling from all the athletes. Patterson in two, Kinchigov in three, Rosvitsky in four, Young in five, Horoshin in six, Thompson in seven, Sahin in eight, and Sedek in nine. Set. This time they get away with no problems at all and getting away very fast indeed is Thomas Young of Great Britain. He is absolutely flying out in front by himself. Sedic is coming down the outside, but it's Thomas Young who's going to take it in a time of 11 0 a new championship record for Thomas Young. He took off out of the box like a rocket and there was no stopping him. The young Brit. Absolutely sensational. Unfortunately for him, he's got no crowd here to play up to. Brilliant run, Josvitsky, a lifetime best, 11.34, picks up the silver for France, and Pintagol takes the bronze in 11.68. It was never headed, Thomas Young. Josvitsky tried his best to get the rim, and he was miles away, he was in second. Back-to-back -back European championships for that man, Thomas Young, in a championship record of 11.03. Now holds the European and the championship records. Three one hundredths of a second outside. His own European record, but it doesn't matter. He is. He's picked up the gold. It was three or four metres in it. If he had kept on running, he'd have been out the stadium in no time at all. Because Vicky did his best. Tenik, I thought, might sneak it down the outside. He missed out. Kinchikov. Kinchikov adds a bronze medal to his gold in the long jump. Decent championship for the Russian. Decent for that man as well. Well, Senek, as he looked across there, you can see on this near side, he thought he might have got it, but he just missed out by the barest of margins. There was no worrying about margins up front, though. Couldn't have been any more clear cut than the man who brought us in Berlin back in 2018, picked up a gold. Again. That's the uh, women's shot put at 34, coordination impairment. The world record line is being uh, assaulted a little bit there by Vanessa Wallace. It's 882 by Zuli Han, which is the world record. Big and cover with the European and championship records of 8 meters 60. Wallace has done something quite impressive there, I think. 809 a lifetime best. Eight seventy-three is a European record and it's the second longest throw of all time. European record, championship record by Vanessa Wallace.
So just to confirm that championship record of Thomas Young in the men's 100 metres T38, he takes gold, back-to-back -back goals for him. Jos Vicky with a lifetime best to the silver. And Kitag Inchikov of Russia, 11.68, takes the bronze. Well, all the throws coming at once in that women's shot put out 34. Wallace with six in a row, and what a start, 8.73. She's followed up with an 8.71. Fabulous. She leads, still three to throw, including some of the greatest throwers in this category of all time. Tadic in the high jump, first attempt, 160, and fell on it. Well, he's been a very competitive swimmer, four golds in the European University Games in 2016. He's from Niche. I've been in Niche. It's a significant kind of place. It appears in Murder on the Orient Express. Used to be a very important rail hub in the Balkans. Mamsats of Poland, the 2016 European champion. And over with a nice bit to spare. He's a 181 jumper in his career. He'd skipped the first four heights. But has entered deep into the competition and is clear at 1 meter 60. Well, the world champion Jonathan Broom Edwards wisely came in at 150, not going in too high just in case. He is a 215 man in his career. Only Lepiato has jumped higher than that. <laughs> oh, my word. That is old school. The final of the men's 200 meters, T64. It's the category of Richard Brown and Felix Strang. It is a strong division in lane eight for Italy. Silver in the Europeans in the 4 by one relay in 2018. Emanuele de Moreno Bastia! is Vamos! seven for Spain. Fourth in the 100 metres final here. Fourth in the 200 final in Berlin. Alberto Alpia. In lane six for Italy. For 100 metres, bronze medalist this week, Riccardo Cotilli. In lane five for the Netherlands, silver in the 100 metres here as part of a Dutch 1-2. Levi Flood. In lane four, there is no Simone Monagrasso who is injured in the 100 meter final. So in lane three, the man who was disqualified in that 100 meters final for a false start. But bronze in the 200, last time out, the former 400 meters world champion, Mike Saitis of Greece. So Saitis in three. Vlot in five, Cotillion six, Sevilla in seven, Di Marino in eight. The final of the men's 200 meters, T64. <laughs> so away first time, and what a solid start by Di Marino on the outside. And Vlot, the 100 meter silver medalist, is coming to the fore down the middle as well. Avila also, who's never won a major championship medal previously, is in line for one now. It's Avila against Vlad. Vlad just out in front for the Netherlands. Silver in the 100. It'll be gold in the 200. Vlad has done it. Avila in second. And Saitis, full starter in the 100, gets bronze in the two. Oh.
the Dutch just keep on discovering great champions. Ah, Levi Vlood from Linden, a graduate of the Johan Cruyff College in Nijmegen. He's a champ too. Lifetime best, 23-47. Two medals in the sprints. It was Olivier Hendricks who took gold in the 100 meters ahead of Vlad. But Vlad, in his prime in the 200, a big battle between him and Alberto Avila. Fourth in the 100 here. Just missed out on medals twice in Berlin. He's got the silver and Cites, the bronze. But Levi Vlad from Linden. Can he believe the week he's having? Levi Vlerd is the European champion. And how good for Sight is having to watch the 100 meters final last night to the four and the two. He's used to meddling anyway. Lifetime best for Vlerd, who wins. Avia in second, and Saitis the bronze. To the fourth, Di Marino fifth. And Martina Villing, at the age of 61, is European champion. Claims the javelin at 56, 20 meters there to Brova the silver, and Petrovic at third. Well, Mamsats clears 160, going for 165. Twice the European champion in 2014 and 2016. La Piatto and Mamsats have both won European titles in Swansea in different categories. They're together here, there are four categories combined, and Mamsats is over. Ale strasznie odbija się poprzeczka od słońca i nic nie widzę jak skaczy. Nie macie żółtej? Nic nie widać tutaj. No tak razi, bo to białe i to jeszcze te lampy. Nic nie widać. Well, he's doing his own analysis, which helps. He's clear at 165. We should change. The light from here. Mamsa Sabatasevich clearing 165, everybody else skipping at the piano. And Tari Burukoglu, so we're going to go up to 170. Tadic is now out. Three misses at 160. Broom Edwards cleared 160. Skipped 165. There's still five left in this. T42 record in this. There's no one uh, T42 in this final, but they are one of the categories included. Actually, dates back to 1980 for Arnold Bolt of Canada, set it in Arnhem. Netherlands has always been good for para sport. Uh, two of the first three European championships were held in reasonably small venues, Assen and Stadskanal, which are only about uh, 10 kilometers away from each other in the Dutch countryside. Amsterdam, the Olympic Stadium, that would be a nice venue for a major championship. Held the Europeans on the IAAF circuit a few years back. That's part of Savage, well clear at 170. Belarus have held a good bit of major athletics lately themselves. The match between the USA and Europe, the European Games as well in 2019.
Tashevich clear. And clear I make it a 175. Now you'll see there's a bit of a freeze on the scores. But to save it's the first one to go at 175, the first one to go clear. Lepiato is going to join at 188. And Tarek Burukoglu is going to join at 184. Bounce cleared at 170. So this is an attempt at 175. And he's clear. And he gets it. So the long jump continues, but it's now time for the women's 200 meters T37 final. No Georgina Hermitage, who's the European and Championship record holder, but a very good field all the same. Training champion, Andy Francois Belize, who goes in this one. He won gold in the 100 meters of London Paralympics as well. Plains, Anya Castillo Kazwesta, 16 years of old. Go from lane 8. Lena Trebek, qualified from the 400 metres, the 16 year old. She'll try again in the 200. There is Manny Fresma Ali. 2013, she won the gold in the World Championship. 2018, she won European gold. Pretty Kerber, who came. 19, she was silver medalist in the 400 meters here. And Natalia Kobza, who won the gold in the 400 meters, was world champion in 2017, disqualified back in 2018. So look at the events from that one. Gloria Sanova of Russia won her national games back in 2019. She was bronze in the 400 meters. Alstein Dotter, who's already won a shot with silver earlier with a personal best. It was bronze in 2018 and lane one, Poland's Dominika Rabitska, who was fifth in the 400 metres, a 20 year old at her first major championship. So the reigning champion, France by Lee, goes from lane six, Kobza, who won the 400 metres already here in Bidigosh. Goes in lane four. Looking to do the double. Yeah. And they do get away. And inside Francois Ali, it looked like uh, Freddie Cove almost stepped out of a lane, but it's Francois Ali who crowns the bend in the last hundred metres and she's in a solid pitch and pace by Kobza of the Ukraine. And Kobza catch up with us. She's doing her best. Who's out in front. trying to get there. First one, Lee. He's two. She's three meters out in front. He's going to hold on. He's going to retain the title. She wins it again. 27.57. First one, Lee, with Popsa, who picked up the 400 meter gold, has to settle for silver on this occasion. 27.55. For first one, Lee, the gold medal position. Popsa, 27.72. Oh, yeah. For her. <laughs> Well, there's the official time. Takes it again. He adds another medal as Slova picks up third place and a bronze medal. Add to her bronze in the 400 meters. Got off to a very quick start. 
Grassboro Lever's already up on the track after about five or six metres. Ground of the band, and just thought this stage that Cobsar was possibly making a bit of ground. From over on the inside, who ended up taking third, and Grassboro Lever just started to tighten up somewhat then. This coordination impairment category, but she didn't have to hold on. Drain the stress on the face. Here's the joy as she takes the victory. Back to back European goals for the French woman. And the joy is there. Got a wonderful evening. Kobza couldn't do the double in the four to two. First of all, elite takes Kobza with the silver. And Victoria Sanova, a lifetime best with the bronze. 28.95 for her. Two other lifetime best as well. So it's Rukas Mamsat who's going at 180. I should tell you, by the way, this high jump, because there's so many categories involved, it is a points competition now. That's why Tadic, who went out first, is still in the silver medal position. He's 370 points. Mamsat with a championship record, 175, going for it again at 180. And he's missed the first. Batasevich has already cleared 180, but he is down in the bronze medal position behind two athletes who've cleared tallies that are lower than him. Well, Jonathan Brim Edwards is coming in every 10 centimeters, which is uh, not a bad idea, really. He is in fourth overall. And this to bring him level with Bartosiewicz to go to the match. He's well clear of that. Clear at 180. He's a 215 man. The second highest jumper of all time. He has had world record attempts. And on count back, he goes above Bartosiewicz. Mam starts with the championship record leading the way. Lapiato, we're not going to see for another two heights. Tarek, Urukolu will come in at 184. Lapiato at 188. Going again at 180 and he's missed it. He has missed it. He's missed the target. A bit like apparently Ireland are doing in the football tonight. 1-0 down, away to Andorra. Great. He'll get another attempt though. He is our current leader anyway, but Lepiato, Broom Edwards, Tarek Burakoglu let to take control. Portuguese team are having fun. Hey, it's a nice evening for it. By the way, Dalstein's daughter, who finished eighth in that women's 200 meters final, um, she had that shot medal earlier today, the first time that Iceland have won two medals in the same event at a major athletics championships. This is Skakov in the men's discus. Uh, throwing is, is not her thing. Uh, the two Icelandic medalists today just entered. Turned out they were quite good.
So it's this guy, well in the medals. All the throws again coming at once, as is always the case in the seated events. Sunis leading with that European record for Greece, 42-71. Juric in second for Serbia. Shkakov for Russia, 31-93 in the third round. Rounds off with a 24-74. So he is in the bronze medal position and only one thrower can knock him out of the top three. It's Dusan Lashkov, Slovakia, who is up next. Last chance saloon, Lucas Mansarts leaves the competition in the gold medal position. But there's still a very long way to go. Championship record as well. He is uh, T63. Bruno Edwards and Lepiata were 44s. Tarek Burukolu is uh, 64. Mamsats is leading on points. Will it stay that way? So the final of the men's 400 meters, T37. It's coordination impairment. The reigning world champion holds all the records. Andrei Vdovin of Russia up against the reigning European champion, Michał Kukowski of Poland. Seven go in this final. And lane eight for Portugal. First major championship for Lucas Pinheiro. In lane seven for the Czech Republic. Second major champion. First Europeans for Jan Mostek. In lane six for Ukraine, silver in the 400, bronze in the 200 of the last Europeans of Berlin, Yaroslav Okopinski. In lane five for Russia, the former European and world champion, Chemin Kobashov, former world record holder too. In lane four for Poland, the reigning European champion over 200 and 400 meters, Michał Kukowski. In lane three for Russia, the reigning world champion over 100, 200 and 400, Andrei Vidovin. And in lane two, fifth in the 100 meters, in his first major championship for Finland, Itu Kusma. So Kusma in two, Vidovin in three, Kukovsky four, Kobasov five, Okapinski six, Mostek seven, Pinero in lane eight. The final of the men's 400 meters, T37. And they're away. Good start by Vdovin in three, and Okapinski of Ukraine gliding at the moment in the white and blue in lane six silver in the 400 bronze in the two last time out now for Durbin is really coming into his prime on the inside in lane three he's overtaking Kukowski he's overtaking Tomasov as well and Mostek he's in front of them all by a long way it looks Kukowski still in second place but now beginning to fight back is the pole he's got past Jeremy Kovasov it's a good battle this for Durbin in three Kukowski in four the gold battle battle is between these two and Andre Vidovin is well clear Kukowski trying to keep up but Vidovin the reigning world champion is now European champion too Kukowski the silver or Kapinski the bronze 51.83 the winning time is almost a second and a half inside his previous season's best 
and it's rounded down to 51.82. Previously European champion in this in 2014 and 2016 and he took the 100 meters on as those years as well. He's the 100 meters champion this week and now the four. He has a double to his name. The last two world championships he's been at, he's done the sprint trouble. Eight times individual world champion, nine world goals in all. From Czerdzi, coached by Galina Kosheleva. And the margin was just enough between him and the home athlete Kukowski, who just couldn't pull clear enough. Still the European 200 meters champion, but his title in the four has gone. Andre Vidovan takes his sixth European title of his career. 51.82 the winning time for Vidovan. And now the introduction of Burakolu in the high jump. So he's waited until 184. Aiming at 184. He's now. You go four centimeters higher than that. For a Koglu. Sure he's watching horror movies. Hopefully he's not watching one of himself later and he gets to where he wants to in these championships. Bronze three years ago in Berlin. It was 180 on that occasion. Not past that. Now it's his first attempt. 188. European and championship record holder of Now there has been a bit of a horror story. Now if the action is coming in. There's a disqualification on that men's 400, but it does not affect the medalist. Kovasov, who finished fourth, just outside, he has been disqualified. That result now ratified. Lepiato. He went from 188 after two play. Lepiato has come in at 188 for his first attempt. Times like these, being a home jumper, you'd light the crowd behind you. No one here. But Lepiatu, no issues for him. Here's the first time of asking. 219 is lifetime best, so that one, no issues at all. 29 centimetres off that lifetime best. Friends with Mark Chats, who is also competing, who's in the gold medal position at the moment. Yeah, there's news of the disqualification against Chairman Kobasov in the 400 metres final of Dovin the gold, Kukowski the silver, and Okapinski the bronze. Kuzma advanced to fourth in his first major championship. So the reigning European champion, Lepiato cleared at 188 for a Puglu. This is first in third position. Needs to get across. If he 
he does. He'll break his own life by best at 187. Uh, he didn't look like doing it. He crashed into it. That's the second time he's done that. He's going to have to change something or he's going to be crashing out of this competition. Can you get the height you need of the takeoff? The velocity. And we'll have one last chance. Okay, this competition. Probably walks away. Brim Edwards was looking on at me. Ah, uh, wistfully. Very quickly put the jacket on, had a wander around. He's going to be back to attempt number three. Knows exactly what he has to do. The takeoff leg needs to get him a little higher. This would give himself an even an opportunity to pick his legs over because he was crashing into the bar before he could even arch his back and get that over. He's trying to will himself over. So the sports science student is going to have to use a bit of that, some of that biomechanics knowledge, trying to get himself over here. Oh, you're so close. Now, if that was his first attempt, that's the best. Hey, well, got over 188. Got his back up in the heart, just as he was about to pick his legs for the bar. Much better attempt. Much more solid. Strong takeoff. Good art. Leg at the back of it. His leg just far off. So despite that championship record, he goes out to the Edwards. Moves in. And does it rather easily. No messing around there from the Brit. Morikoglu crashed out, so 192 clear. Bad chance. Present. As we move back to the track, the finals coming thick and fast. The men's 400 metres, T47. <laughs> Poland represented the game in lane number eight. Michal Matrek, debutant at these major championships. He's 24 years of age, lifetime best. Thomas Ball of Malta. We've seen him run already. The former Paris swimmer. He'll go lane seven. Jonathan Bagini of Italy, 20 years of age, the best of eight at the 2016 European Championships. In lane 5, Ivan Petkin, Serbia, runs back in 2018 in Berlin, he runs out of Kosovo. 
as well as the rest of Cyprus. Silver in the 1 and a 200 metres in 2018. Silver back in 2008 in Beijing. In gold in 2011. Tom Breeders, the 21 year old, his first major championship in the man. Now, Philly in Wales going late to And Perez Hernandez. First time on the 400 metre track at the major championship. Go late to. Match track of Poland. Go from lane eight. Tough position to go from when you go from that lane because you don't get to see what's happening because you are out in front to start with. Whereas Anand is in two, Bridge in three, Arresti in four, Bekovic in five, Degani in six, Org in seven, and Match track in eight. <laughs> And there was a false start there. Lane two, Perez Hernandez was the man who went. He went quite early as well. If I'm not mistaken, it will be the Spaniard. He got an absolute fire. Lane two. He wanders back. I think he knows he's in a bit of trouble as well. If it wasn't him, he must have been very quick, but it was. And Perez Hernandez, his first time in 400 metres in the major championship, has been disqualified. And now I have six left in the race. This time we get away with no problems at all. It's a good solid start, especially from the Italian Riccardo Piccati, who's already gone past Thomas Borg and Malta and up on the outside of Matrak of Poland. So it's Piccati who leads, Matrak on the outside and racing through the inside there is from Bridge of Great Britain, the 21 year old in his first major championship from Horseman, sliding around the inside nicely. He'll have the lead as they come into the straight because Pagani is starting to find up. Bridge moves around in the final 100 metres. Bridge in first position. Pagani up wide in second. And Bridge in the most of the two women's victories. And it's Bridge who holds the lead. Pagani down the outside. Inside Pagani. Second and Bagani of Italy picks up the bronze medal. 50.63, a new lifetime best, and also a lifetime best for Prince and Bagani. A new lifetime best for the first three positions. But it is Serbia who pick up the gold medal for Ivan Smikovic. Bronze in 2018. Um, do better this time and picked up the gold medal. Fifty point six three seconds. New lifetime best. But the Gady looks strong with around two hundred meters to go. As did Gold Bridge of Great Britain. And as they move to the last hundred, Bridge starts to tighten up somewhat. As did the and Spec Bridge. Really pushed through that last 50 or 60 metres and split the two owners of his straight down the middle. Live through, Bridge just misses out, and Pagani, after leading for the majority of the race, has to settle for a bronze medal. Great win indeed.
lifetime best or fourth top five and season best for a rest here. But Smekovic takes the win. Prince with a second place in his first major championship in silver and Bugatti of Italy. Picks up the cross. <laughs> Yeah, for the first five of that with Lifetime Bass as well, impressively, as Kenobis goes to the women's shot put for Poland. She's up into the silver medal position with that 8.49. She's come very close to the world record mark. Now, that world record mark is around 8.80. And definitely had bounced off the tape. 8.82 for Zuli Jan. The European record set by Vanessa Wallace, 8.73. Earlier this evening, she's a, as usual, all the throws at once, and Canavas has beaten it! 878, a new European championship record, and she goes into the gold medal position, and she has won it! The very last throw of the competition decides the winner. At no stage was she leading until the very last throw. Eight seventy-eight sets a new standard. Vanessa Wallace beaten right to the death. Silver for Great Britain and Braima Skrubrone, the bronze for Germany. What a finish in that! So, Broom Edwards. Two attempts needed to clear two meters. This for two of the four. It's well within him. Exquisite clearance. Well, he's putting himself well into contention, but he's in a position where on points, he's finding himself outclassed by Mamtaz, but that should Put him into the lead, I think. And it does, on points, by 10. 7-9-1 for Broom Edwards. 7-8-1 for Mamchats. And Lepiato now looking to join Broom okay. Edwards. Tarek Burukolu is out. He finishes fourth. Mamchats has the bronze. That's decided. So the goal between Broom Edwards and Matsi Lepiato. Normal service is resumed. Lepiato injured for the 2019 World Championships with his Achilles tendon, but he is back. And boy, is he back. He clears 204. He joins Broom Edwards level on points. Broom Edwards with a fader at two meters. Means the Lepiato goes into the gold medal position on Canback. Broom Edwards into the silver medal mark. They both cleared 204. They both in their careers cleared 215. And Lepiato slightly higher. We've got a long way to go in this. And doesn't he know that? Him and Lepiato are the best of friends now, despite the constant on track rivalry. This for 208. No. Broom Edwards with a bit of work to do. New and Essex Beagles, coached by Graham Ravenscroft and Aston Moore, based in Loughborough, which is uh, an athletics hotbed in its own right. Championship records for Mansards and Burukolu in different divisions. I know for a lot of people who may have been watching for the first time, let's say at London 2012, it's something that might have taken a bit of getting used to, something which would have caught them out, but I think all regular viewers are used to combined categories now and the fact that you may set a world record and not get the gold. So that Piatto, his first attempt at 208. 
the man who holds the championship record of 217 from Swansea in winning gold seven years ago. And he is clear. He's in pole position. And Poland are looking good for another gold. From Gorshal Bielskopolski. So as we head back to the men's, this is for F56 and Sunas. He's already in first, this is 41.20. is our record. And Tunis wins it 42.71 for the European record. And let's go with a lifetime best for the silver. So we go to the women's 100 meters, the T12, the medium visual impairment category, and three go in this. Representing Finland, Spain, and Moldova. It's only the winner guaranteed to go into the final. Guides are optional. In lane three for Finland, the bronze medalist in these Europeans in the 400 meters, Ida Lunela. What a debut. In five for Spain, Nagori Volgado. Her first Europeans with her guide, Juan Ragavamo. She went out in the opening round in both the 100 and the 200 in the Worlds in Dubai, as did Evelina Cristina Kretu of Moldova in seven from Kisinau. Also, very successful pirate swimmer. So Lunella in three, Folgado guided in five, Cretu in seven. Only the winner guaranteed a spot in the final. They're away. What a blistering start by Folgado. This is more her specialty than the other two. You can see that. Folgado's going to win it. It's about second place now. Folgado takes it. 12 71. Oh, and Crutches down. Lunella takes second. Oh, Evelina. How cruel. And that might have just cost her a place in the final. It's a lifetime best for Folgado, 12.70. <laughs> Lunella's having the week of her life. Well, that might just be because Cretu fell, might be enough to get her into the final. Lunella did brilliantly here in coming through in second. <laughs> and the 400 meters bronze. <laughs> What a start by Folgado, and well, the rest wasn't bad either, frankly. Driving through with a guy, Juan Raga. 12.79 was a lifetime best coming into this. He let her go away, so that was fine. Gets the victory. You have to feel sorry for Evelina Cretu, though, who did finish in 17.41. Fulgado definitely in the final. The rest will have to wait. Broom Edwards then. Third and final attempt, 208. To stay in the competition, to keep it alive. And it's done. Lepiato is the European champion again as the world champion Broom Edwards bows out. Clearing 204, missing 208. Knocked out by the back. Just below the shoulder blade, it began to roll, and that was it. Broom Edwards gets the silver for Great Britain, and Lepiato, the gold for Poland. And he's going to go on 
He's aiming for 2 meters 12 now and he hasn't had a miss yet. Started at 196. He's had four attempts. He's cleared them all. His championship bracket is 217. That was winning European gold in Swansea in 2014. And his world record is 219. Winning Paralympic gold in Rio in front of those huge crowds. How brilliantly we did in the crowds with the Rio Paralympics and then the World Championships in London the following year. What a joy. So that Piatto for 212. And he regularly goes higher than this. Not on this occasion though. 212 not. It's not as if he's had to put in a huge amount of work tonight. Joined later than anyone else. Joined at 196 when all but one other had got out of the competition. He's the champion anyway. Long jump time. Here's our 100 meters champion. 363. And Daniel Wagner. Two fouls for us up. Peter Mark. He's got the white flag. He's the championship record holder in the T63. Gold for the last two European championships. <laughs> to make it a hat trick. Definitely got himself onto the scoreboard. The question is, what's he put himself on the scoreboard with? 672 is championship record. He smashed it by 13 centimetres into the league as Daniel Wagner. Championship record 685. So Lepiato, second attempt at 2 minutes 12 on the high jump, which he has won. Poland get there. Ninth goal. That was better than the first, but not over. It's an awkward kind of season having to peak for this, having to peak for the pilot for games. There will be those like Jason Smith and Hannah Cockcroft who usually skip the Europeans in Paralympic Games yeah. Well, Wagner for number four. He broke the championship record with his last. His own championship record is just hey, That's not too bad either. Wife bag off the board. He likes it. Red or this bronze medalist at the Paralympic Games the last two of those that was a great jump off the board as tight as you could get without hitting the plastic seat it looked big Six eighty-five with his last. Oh my dear, seven fifteen. He's added another thirty centimeters to it and broken his own championship record again. De Jong in second, and Luke Sinner of Great Britain in the bronze medal position. And that is only nine centimeters off Leon Schaefer's world record set last year in Leverkusen.
the Piatto, his last attempt at 2 meters 12, having won this multi-category men's high jump. He's won on height, he's won on points. And he wants to keep on winning, wants to keep going up. His world record coming as recently as the last Paralympics. Not to be. Oh. The footwear looks interesting to me. I'm wondering if that's something extra padding his left foot. Doesn't matter anyway. Here's the champion, Broom Edwards, in second. Something supporting the ankle. A tape, actually, I think. More tape being used. Anyway, the high jump draws to a close with Le Piatto, the champion again, for the third time in four. European Championships. So another goal for Poland, having a great week. But then Poland in this usually have a great week. Matti Lepiato with the gold for Poland in the men's high jump. Jonathan Brim Edwards, the silver. And Lucas Mountcharts with the bronze. In this multi category event, two championship records in third and fourth in different categories. Time to go back to the track for the second heat in the women's 100 meters T12 medium visual airbag category. Three going in this one. In this one, all three opting to have guides with them. One in the last race, the winner. We're going to see if Mulligan of May goes in lane three. 19 years of age, was a finalist in Berlin three years ago. Para Arahu, a twin sister Marcia, also a para athlete, goes in lane five. And very self player, Fels, Madrid, last year for training purposes. Against the coach and guide oh, after nine years, his fourth T11 in 2018. So the first will automatically qualify for the final. The fastest also advance from this heat and heat one. Mario Durant's record of 11.40 still stands from. Paralympics back in 2016. Right with the European record, Oksana Potocic, seven years ago, set the championship record. And they get away with no problems at all, and get away fast as the ball. Let's see Garcia Alligan on the inside in lane three. She's done ever so well. She's about 10 metres ahead. We're going to storm through to victory. Let's just have a look at the time. 12.87 is the Portuguese Arahu who takes second place. And Claire Fals, the second of the Spaniards, picked up final position. So, Spain doing well in the T12 sprint. Garcia Faligan, their guide, Jonathan Moscovino, moved through to the final. Congratulations all round. It's a good start by all three, actually. Over on the inside in that 20 metre area, first through to Garcia Felligan on a fast. First the speed in that 20 metre, 30 metre period, and before you knew it, it was out of sight. Allowed across the line first, the 19 year old. They're looking to do better. She was a finalist in 2018. This time, we'll be looking to medal. The 
as the sun starts to set. Remembrance gave the British athletes something to cheer about. That silver medal. The high jump. Easy to cheer about throughout the day as well. Thomas Young earlier gave them plenty to get their teeth into with his victory. Sunsets over the stand. So Garcia Fulligan goes through with a lifetime best of 1286. Rahu of Portugal also goes through disqualification. Or Claire Faust of Spain. And that set all the places as far as going through as the qualifiers, the fast ones. Because there are only four who ended up finishing. So you head back to the best long jump P6 win. Daniel Wagner twice he smashed his damage record after 2,000 hitting. Yes, jump. Try to improve on it yet again. And perhaps. Even further, just damage the record. But he pushed up on the board on that one. Been given the white flag. Plus the gone close to that plastic thing. Well, so he's really pushing the limits, isn't he? That's a great jump. This. It will be interesting to see where it's ended up. His rhythm is certainly on song now. Two fouls to start with. It's then. Become a different jumper. Seven oh six, so slightly less, but he remains in first place. Well, this is Martina Billing and her marvellous performance of winning the women's javelin at the age of 61. What a margin of victory, too. Van der Goon, women's shot put F41. This is a new event. This for athletes of short stature. 7.25 she's got out to. There's four in this competition. She's a 7.88 thrower in her career. Also in this, Rabia Tsirut of Turkey, Mariana. Granovic of Montenegro and Anna Gradachak of Croatia. Championship record held by Chirit, European record for Gradachak. Sirit through first and has now lost the championship record and the European record to Gurchak. Sirit was the European record holder going into this with 8 metres 14. Can she gain it back? She'll be determined to. She's 23. Has she improved? 7.52 was her first round throw. Gorachak in the penultimate round with that new European record of 8.23. How far can she push it? The world record 
10.42, that's the world record line there, which... <laughs> yet to be met. The F-41's coming along in the past 10 years. That world record mark was uh, constructed, if you like, as what the world record mark should be for F-41's. Otherwise, you'd have, you know, in the first six months of competition, the world record broken 25 times. As we go to the final of the women's 400 metres, T-53. Sammy Kinghorn's category. She's the European record holder. But she's watching from home this week. We do have three great champions in this, representing Turkey and Switzerland. So we start off in lane five, bronze in the 100 meters here this week, silver in the 200 and the 400 in the last Europeans in Berlin, Zeynep Asit. Lives in Istanbul, born in the city of Batman. In lane four for Switzerland, this week's new European 100 meters champion and the reigning world champion, Catherine de Brunner. And in lane three for Turkey, the defending European 400 meters champion. Going for three in a row in this, Hamid Bogangwa. The final of the women's 400 metres, T53. So Dodongan, Jabrana and Asset, the three in this, T53. The second strongest, the second fastest of the wheelchair races. And Dobrunner... The strongest and fastest at the moment. As she gets ahead of Asset and Dogango defending her title and a lot to defend. And she's moving up well here on the inside. In lane three is Hamri Dogango. The brother in the middle lane, having started so strongly, having claimed the 100 metres win title this week. Has got a big sprint on here to try and win the 400 metres. It's De Bruyne for Switzerland. It's Hamani Dugongo for Turkey. De Bruyne just holding on. She's going to do the double. It'll be her third medal of the week. Two golds and a bronze for Catherine De Bruyne. 55-71. It's a new championship record. The Gangun in the silver medal position and Zeyna Bassett finishes in third. And Hamid the Dangun has lost the championship record to as Catherine de Brunner is now the 400 metres European champion as well as the 100 to go with her 400 metres world title. Well, she skipped the next two years after Rio. She's a school teacher. She took more than two years out, actually, so she missed the last Euros in Berlin. Back with a bang to win her first world title in Dubai. And now her first two European crowns have come in big gosh. 55-71 as Hamid watched the European title and a championship record slip away. A victorious smile. The great coach Paul Odema, responsible for so many great champions in that part of the world, has played a big role in this too. Well, it's another medal, a second silver for Hamid Tagango. And on both occasions this week, she's finished second behind Catherine De Brunner. So De Brunner wins 55-71, De Gangnam in second, 56-46, and Asset in third in 
And it was the European record for Anna Gradachak and the women's shot put at 41. The European record, 823, Sirit in second and Van der Goe the bronze. Belting evening, still a lot of action to come on the track. Finals of the men's 400 meters T53 and T54 and the women's 400 meters T54. As the fastest wheelchair athletes get their one lap run tonight. Well, it's only on occasion that a really good uh, T53 athlete will beat a 54, and in the case of the 63s, Daniel Wagner's beaten them all. Seven meters 15, a new championship record. Didn't need to do anything else. And for the third European Championships in a row, Daniel Wagner of Denmark wins the long jump. It's the second Euros in a row in which he's done the 100 and long jump golden double. And quite a margin too, and quite a week. Yol de Jong is having as well. Well, when he's had victories where he's been really pushed and he's exuberant, he'll do the backflip. He was pushed a bit, but not massively tonight. Well, he fell for those first two. He then picked up two championship records. Young with a lifetime best of the silver, and Luke Sinner of Great Britain with a championship record for his category in third place. Three finals left on the track to round out day three. First of those three, the men's 400 meters T53 final. Yeah, Fairbank. Also, the European record is there, as is Kali Pitenko, who's the championship record holder. Both of them go. As does Nicolas Brignoni. Of France, who from the Mia, like Jeff Fairbank. Jeff Fairbank has started training. Good friends, competitors in this one. Six European medals for Brignone. Petenko, the 2016 European champion from Grosseto. Also, Paris Skier. He's a championship record holder. This man's the European record holder, the reigning champion, 49 year old, yeah, Fairbank. Beating since 98 as Fairbank. This man, his first major champion, all that good. And his wife in Liverpool in England. 
86 years of age. Rolik in three, Fairbank in four, Tenko in five, and Brignoni in six. No problems getting away and getting up very quickly already as Pisenko on the wheel of Brignoni out wide. And yeah, Fairbank hasn't missed around either. This is to be a very quick race being left behind already as Samuel Kolek from Poland. Out in front, as they move around the bend, it's going to be Pierre Fairbank who, more than likely, is just about in the lead. In amongst them there, with the number five on his helmet, is the 2016 European champion, Pitenko, who's also the Travis Fairbank holder. It looks at those this stage as so if it's going to be between those two, and it's Fairbank who has the lead as they move into the home straight. Fairbank and Pitenko turn down out of it, and then move. Fairbank out in front, Tenko trying to get there, Fairbank's elected to run, and he's going to take it, listen to the time, 0.80 seconds, and Pierre Fairbank picks up the gold medal, and attains the 53 400 metres title in a time of 50.80, Pitenko 50.98, and Brignoni, the Frenchman, coming home with the bronze medal position. It was a race in three with around 200 to go. Then it became a race in two. Fairbank just powered away to get out to about a length in that last straight. Just held on for the victory. 1998 was his first major championships. Yeah, Fairbank. This event, he took silver in 2000 in Sydney, bronze in 2016 in Rio. Also won world championships in 2002 and 2017. He's now got back to back European titles. What a storied career. And I'm sure there's plenty more to come. No doubt into his 50s when he hits that mark later next month. What a way to celebrate it might be for him. Tokyo. 50th birthday might be a medal fest over there. Fairbank. Picked up the gold here. 400 minutes deep. And Senko. The silver and Brignone. With the rod. Light indeed for the Frenchman and his teammates looking on. Sun's disappeared. Still heat though, the shorts are still on. Wonderful day in Binigosh. This will be a wonderful race as well. That man's got anything to say about it. Eddie Van Vigel go in the penultimate race of the evening. It's his great rival, Leo Beccatati. Finland have two going into this final. So do the Netherlands. So do Great Britain. The fastest races around the T54s, the one lap, the men's 400 meters. Leo Pecatati trying to get into double figures for European titles. Julian Casali. Trying to get his first European title, certainly since the competition was revived in 2012.
Such a thrilling level. And such a level level. You can never quite be guaranteed what's going to happen. Even in a Europeans, you can never quite take much for granted. Well, Daniel Sibri has made some breakthrough in his first track championship. He has been in a World Marathon Championship previously, held at the London Marathon. And Nathan Maguire will have a lot cheering him back at home. Some of whom have even won medals, and lots of them. Seeking his first European individual title, his two relay golds in his career. And three individual bronzes. He was fifth in the 100 meters final here, so is this the night of the big breakthrough for Nathan Maguire? It's the final of the men's 400 meters. T-54. It features the nine times European champion, Leo Pekatati from Finland. And the nine times major champion, Kenny Van Wiegel of the Netherlands. From the outside, bronze in the 1500 meters at these Europeans, seven medals, at the Europeans in Grosseto in 2016 for Russia, Alexei Vichinov. In lane seven for Finland, the nine-time European, four-time world, five-time Paralympic champion, Leo Pekatati. In lane six for the Netherlands, the twice Paralympic champion, Silver in the 100 here for the Netherlands, Kenny Van Wiegel. In lane five for Great Britain, Silver in the 1500 meters. At these Europeans, Daniel Sidbury. In lane four for France, fourth in the 1500 meters here. Four time European medalist, four time world medalist, Julian Cassoli. In lane three for Great Britain, four medals in Berlin, one gold in the Universal Relay, three bronze in the one, the two, and the eight, Nathan Maguire. In lane two for Finland, bronze in the 100 meters here in Big Gosh, Essa Pekka Matila. And in lane one for the Netherlands, fourth in the 100 meters final at these Europeans, Renz van der Waterland. Discovered by Kenny van Eagle. So Van der Waal to Latin 1, Matilla 2, Maguire 3, Cassily 4, Sidbury 5, and Weagle 6, Tati 7, Beechenock in 8, the final of the men's 400 metres, T54. A category that's always a highlight. Van Weagle away well, it'll take a while for Tati to get into his groove, and Tati is in his groove already. The defending European champion, the man whose Paralympic crowns have been coming in the 100 meters generally, and he is well clear in this 400 final. It's between Tati and Van Weigel yet again. Three golds in Berlin three years ago for Tati. Three silvers in those races for Van Weigel. What's happening this time? It's between these two. It's Tati in front. It's Van Weigel in second place. Nathan McGuire from down for Great Britain. And Leo Bagatati's coming through for a 10th European title. Tati wins it. Van Weigel the silver. McGuire the bronze. 47.72. The winning time as the Flying Finn beats the Flying Dutchman. For the second time this week, Tati has got the gold and Van Weigel the silver.
Maguire up for bronze. The fourth European bronze of his career. His fifth European medal. Leo Pecatati in Europe is peerless. So successful and so unstoppable. Doesn't Kenny Van Weagle know all about that? He keeps trying. Van Weagle now has 12 European medals in his career, three gold. That is his eighth silver. And the reason most of them are silver are because of the man in front and the man who has won again. Three golds in Berlin. This is second in Gosh. A Finn who is flying. Tati's lifetime best is the time that won him the gold in the last Europeans in Berlin. Richard Kiyosaro, the European record holder. He's sitting this one out. So Leo Pagatati gets the gold for Finland, 47-72. Kenny Van Wiggle, the silver for the Netherlands. Nathan Maguire, the bronze for Great Britain. His teammate Dan Cipri in fourth. And the British fans in the stands love that. They've got a bronze for Nathan Maguire. And there are British prospects in the women's equivalent as well. But just the thing about the T54s, there are just so many names that can come through in Europe in this division. Well, it's Leo Pecatati, and that's it. 19 major titles in his career that we have counted for. Maybe there's a few other that he's hiding down the back of the sofa or something. So the men were great. The best two have dominated again. The women, it could be a bit more wide open. It may be that last race of the evening on day three. That young, there, 16 years of age. Already claimed silver in the 100 meters. In fact, all the athletes taking part in this, all seven of them, competed in the 100 meters already at these championships. Go to a reunion this time in the 400 meters. Ray Cooler with the bronze in the hundred. Great Britain represented again. First major championship for Melody Woods. After the accident, the Winter Paralympics got her interested in competing. Para athletics is now her chosen sport. Schultz, who was sixth in the 100 metres, who you just saw, it was her first major championship as well. Alexandra Helbling, reigning champion, 2018, the Swiss. This outside the medals in that 100 metres, so she'll be hoping to retain her title or at least medal in this one. Some of those names. Tatiana McFadden leading it off. Manuela Shah in there as well. Talia Quintrova in amongst those records. So seven to go. All the seven competed in the 100 metres already in these championships. Great 
Reese West to start as well. This year, Miss Nelly, 20 years of age, in France in Godville. First major championship for her, she was fifth in the 100. Now, in the awards, who I mentioned there came seventh in that 100 metres, looking for improvement. Alexander Helbling, the reigning champion. Just missed out in the middles in that 100. Let's do the double. Made a super against you. The goal of the championship record for 100 is qualified for this. Back in 2018, she's been competing for 11 years. And 16 year old Benya of Germany. On the under 14 category at the London 2018 mini marathon. That's an effort by itself. And when he made her debut back in 2016, Leah Bagula of Belgium. Bronze already in the 100. We go one or two better. And the lady who liked the fact that she was involved in this sport, her first race of the championship, Lisa Schultes. Of Switzerland. Helbling, the reigning champion. Nine European medals in total, looking to make it a okay. round ten. As she and the others get away, no problems at all, and Helbling moving up very quickly already on the outside. Melody Woods is just being caught by her there and doing really well around the outside is this year Bruce Nelly in lane eight. But really working her way through the inside is Helbling as she looks to retain that final. Also doing well, Super Gensi, who was disqualified back in 2018. It was for a lady of Brisbane, for a member, really. She's got the lead at the present time, so Super Gensi has the lead, but also coming around there. Benya, the 16 year old, has really put in a great effort moving into the home. Great place to lock those arms. Now to collect. Benya, the 16 year old, hold on. And come up with a gold medal. She's flying away from the And it's Benya of Germany. Silver in the 100 metres. Now picked up a gold. 57.53 over 400 metres. What a first major championship for the 16-year-old Germany. And again, she picks up the silver medal. That is a season best for Super Gensi. Helbling would retain the title. She picked up the bronze in 753. What a star on the rise that that young lady is. Silver in the 100 metres. Gold now in the 400 metres. Congratulations all round. Looking for stars of the future. Look no further. The Bagatti looked like she had it coming into the home straight. Just been overtaken on the inside by Menya, who put the afterburners on. Helbling did her best to keep up with Sue Bagatti. Sue Bagatti did her best to keep up with that lady there, Menya. But no one could keep up with her. He was flying. Great Britain's Melanie Woods has come home in fourth place, just fixing out her medal. But she has to be happy with how things have gone so far, her first major cabinet. She'll be looking forward to better days indeed. Great experience. Will improve in years to come. Yeah, Look at the smile though on the youngster Menya. Gold to go with that silver. Sunsets in the west there behind the main stand. Brings the curtain down on a brilliant day as. I'm tired, so I was looking for and I was struggling, but yeah. Athletics? Very close. Yeah, it was. So you're in a good lay there. Well, what were you doing when you went to the internet? I don't know, I'm used to chasing, so it was a bit of a strange place to be, you know, going into that second bed. Uh, Chased pretty well, I thought. Considering those in front, Elbling, Zibigetti, and the winner, Menya.
got about three to chase down, almost pick up a bronze medal. As I said, there'll be headier days ahead. There is the winner. Merlin Marie Menya, 16 years of age, the gold, Snipper Gates with the season best silver. Alexandra Helbling, gold last time out, this time bronze, 59.30. And the season best down to seventh by Kula of Belgium. So Russia staying at the top of the medal table. 17 golds in their 40. Ukraine, five golds behind Poland up there again. Great Britain in fourth position. Arodi picking up that gold to add to Italy's championship tally. Not much change down towards the bottom. Portugal with the one gold and the one bronze. And these nations get to pick up the gold medal, but there's still two days of action to come in Benigosh. And well, it promises to be a decent day four indeed. And obviously in the case of a lot of the nations with two, three medals, that for them, the equivalent of maybe a Russia picking up 10 golds or something like that. Remember Iceland for the very first time in their history today, having two medalists in the one event. It had never, ever happened before. And two sprinters in a throwing event who ended up being quite good at it. Ireland with the gold and the bronze still. Greta Stremikita with the victory in the women's 50 and 100 meters. We're back tomorrow. Early start, 10 a.m. Central European time. Track final straight away. The women's 100 meters, T12. That will be highly competitive as much as the T-54s have been this evening. And it's a lovely evening. And it's quite an early finish, actually, for a lot of the athletes tonight. And an early finish for you as well. So you come back bright and early to us tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Central European time, 9 a.m. in the UK and Ireland, 8 a.m. at GMT. Have fun. That's day three done. Cheerio.